watched the videos long. I saw the trailer for a movie called Lady Bird. It is a story about a young girl who lives in a small town. She wanted to go to a place with more culture, such as New York. What really intrigued me while watching the trailer was when I heard a conversation between the girl and her mother. The girl said to her, the mother said to the girl, I only want you to be the best version of yourself. And the girl answered, what if I am the best version of myself? The concept of being the best version of yourself really intrigued me. Who gets to decide? What even is it? How do you know you can achieve it? For me personally, I believe to become a better version of you, to become even the best of you, the force that drives you to achieve so comes from within. It comes from self-acceptance and confidence. And I brainstormed a few steps and ideas to maybe can help you on your journey to find your, best, your own best version. The first step is believe in the fact that the best version of you is relative. Many people have different, many people, they have different wishes, different outlooks in life. Some people wanted success, such as wealth and power, while other people look for spiritual fulfillment through drama, music, and art. It is, it is vital to know what kind of person you are, to truly understand yourself, and then to find what the best of yourself, version of yourself truly includes. Therefore, it is also important to not let any other person cloud your opinion, because your passion, your interest, can only be decided by you. The second, is, the second step is to have a balanced mindset. Every year talking about studying Medea knows how bad <laughs> the extremity of emotions can be, right? Therefore, I believe it is vital to have a balanced mindset to remain neutral while facing challenges and failures in life. Personally, I have struggled with this problem. Whenever I received my results for some kind of project or study, I couldn't help but comparing it to my fellow friends. Sometimes I do better, while other times I do worse. And I found that process didn't really help me. If I do better, I don't feel too good about it. But if I do bad, I feel really bad. I go into a cycle of being disappointed in myself, unable to motivate myself, and just complain about the whole situation. Why am I not as smart as them? Like, honestly, why? And, <laughs> and I found that process not helpful to me at all. I just watch, um, watch TV, eat ice cream, and just, you know, cry. <laughs> <laughs> So that's probably not the healthiest mood set that one can have while approaching a serious subject such as BCE and deciding your future. So I've tried to maintain a more healthy and neutral mindset by being more balanced. Don't watch other people's results. Focus on yourself. If you have to compare yourself with anyone, compare with yourself. See how much progress you've made throughout the years. And just contrast that. And that's how I believe you should improve. Um, and the third step is to have realistic goals. I don't know about any of you out there, but whenever the teachers told me to write about goals in class, I dial it on the inside. I'm never going to use it. It's just, like, I'm never going to use it. It's too big, too vague. It's nothing to do with my life. I just don't get it as a whole thing. So I always thought that setting your goals is not useful at all. However, it is actually useful. Um, According to a study, 42% of people actually achieve more with written goals. However, the written goals have to be specific. They can't be vague. They have to be the ones that you're actually going to do. For instance, I've written a few goals myself as an example, so you guys can see what realistic goals look like. So firstly, I want to maintain a healthier lifestyle. So I eat one less bar of Patrick chocolate per week. I usually eat three per week. So that is um, realistic and probably achievable. <laughs> um, and it is very, and it can be monitored. Because if you open my kitchen cabinet, you can see how many chocolate bars are there, right? And you can ask other people to help you. Because when they see you eating chocolate, they're like, hmm, <laughs> how much have you eaten this week? So it is approachable, helpful, and realistic. And my second goal is to procrastinate less. As the TED Talk we've watched in the session before, Procrastination is a serious problem for many of us, including me. I procrastinate on everything possible. I do anything to avoid actual work. 
So I decided to change that because I'm in year 12 right now, so it's pretty bad. But, um, I often start doing homework at 10 o'clock at night, so <laughs> pretty good plan, I'd say, like organized. So I, I wanted to start my own like progress, so I started to do my homework one hour earlier. I start at nine. So it's more efficient, it is measurable because the time is there, I can see it, I look at it, and I know it. And um, I can get into the mindset of concentration a bit quicker because I don't know about you, because when I start doing homework, I don't think about homework. I just read it and stuff just don't go into my mind. Like that's me after my D, I don't know if she killed her kids. <laughs> after the first read, <laughs> I was asking this question in class and she's just like, have you read it? I'm like, Passion. I know it is a cliche thing, like, I mean, yeah, follow your passion, da da da. But it is actually really helpful in order to motivate yourself. Because me, myself, I am not really a motivated person. Like, I can't be bothered with most of the work that I've been doing in class. But honestly, when I'm doing things that interest me, I actually find more motivation to carry on and to continue with the work. Um, so I feel like it is vital to find your own passion. And if you don't find it, don't worry. We're still young. We have time to explore. As long, we, as long as we actually invest time into exploring, everything will be cool <laughs> and stay stable. <laughs> um, yeah, so I believe the best version of ourselves is a version where we learn to accept ourselves, love ourselves for who we are, and really appreciate our individuality. Because I feel like it is not mentioned enough. Sometimes societies have stereotypes that tells us what success looks like, what a good, fulfill, fulfilling life should look like. But however, I believe that and the best of your, version of yourself depends on you, depends on your passion, depends on your background, depends on everything that shaped you to who you are today. That is you. Thank you. <laughs>